Echo 1A was launched on August 12, 1960 at 9.39 a.m. UTC from Launch Complex 17A at Cape Canaveral. The mission was to launch a huge balloon that would inflate in orbit and instead of relaying signals in some sophisticated fashion, simply reflect them when signals were aimed at it. Engineers realized this was possible because while it takes a lot of air to inflate a balloon in the atmosphere against atmospheric pressure, it takes a comparatively small amount to inflate it in the vacuum of space. The main challenge was to have a reflective material for the balloon that could expand to the 100 foot or 30.5 meter diameter without itself being too heavy, and yet still be resistant to micrometeorite impacts. The result was a 71 kilogram balloon that needed 18 tons of gas to fill on the ground, but only 15 kilograms in space. Thanks to its huge size, observations of Echo 1A would provide much finer measurements of atmospheric density and drag at its orbit of 1,684 kilometers by 1,524 kilometers, where the drag is so minimal that any smaller object would not be appreciably affected by it on small timescales. It was launched on a Thor Delta rocket into that high orbit, and its 30 meter diameter was visible to the naked eye. As it turned out, it survived longer than expected due to lower than anticipated drag, deorbiting on May 24, 1968. This was the first successful launch of the Delta stage, which had a different engine and thrusters than the similar Able stage. And the Thor Delta system would eventually become known simply as Delta, beginning the prolific Delta family of rockets, which except for Delta 3 and 4, all featured modifications of the Thor and Delta stage. Thank you for watching this mission profile of Echo 1A.